The average rental price here in the United States is right around $1,500 a month. Now, this number is obviously being skewed upwards by the major cities where $1,500 may not get you so much. Whereas there's a ton of other places where $1,500 will get you a ton of space. I wanted to explore what $1,500 looks all across the country, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at what $1,500 gets you in Chicago, Illinois. Hello everyone, I'm Connor Ashley with Nosy Neighbor Real Estate. The average rental rate in Chicago is just under $2,000, but today we're going to be explaining what $1,500 gets you in Chicago. If you want to check out any of these listings for yourself, head over to my blog at nosyneighborrealestate.com. I'll link it down in the description below. And if you're a real estate lover, check out our TikTok and Instagram at Nosy Neighbor Real Estate. Please like the video and subscribe. It's completely free, helps me out a ton. And let's get into these properties. I will say there's some really amazing ones. The last two ones are probably my favorites. It's really hard to decide. So watch the whole video, stick around to the end and let me know which one is your favorite by commenting down below. Let's get right into it. This first property is located at 1825 North Bissell Street in Chicago, Illinois. This one is a two bedroom, the only two bedroom on the list, but again, two bedroom in Chicago, right in the city, $1,458 a month, two bedroom, one bathroom, under $1,500 a month. As you can see here, it's sort of in the Lincoln Park, Old Town area, really great area, walkable and really easily um, accessible to the rest of Chicago. Great little area here. Right there, beautiful, beautiful. Look at this. It is virtually staged here, but I mean, look at this living room. Super cute. I love the wood floors. I love the moldings around the window. They let in a ton of light. Super cute. Love that little nook by the window. So cute. As you can see, the kitchen is not that updated. You do have, you know, these refurbished, sort of refaced cabinets. You got the basic countertops and you got the stainless steel stove oven combo not the biggest not the best but it's a, it's it, it's a two bedroom so what do you expect anyway here it is without all the virtually staged furniture you got that sort of historic charm to it with the moldings with the wood floors but it is a lot of great space here's one of the bedrooms you got the closet one of the other bedrooms with the virtual furniture in here the windows let in a ton of light. As you can see, they're not the biggest. This is probably like a full-size bed with a nightstand. You might be able to get a queen in there, um, but beyond that, you're probably not gonna be able to get much more. Um, another closet here, it's fine. Everything's been painted, yeah, it's fine. Here's the bathroom, definitely not my favorite. Pretty small, especially for a two bedroom. So if you're sharing it with roommates, not a ton of space. It does have a window that looks at a brick wall. It is the city. I mean, what, what what do you think, right? Vanity, toilet, shower, tub combo. Got this great little outdoor area. It's cute. Here, look at the um, the floor plan here. Um, as you can see, living room, really great size. It's a really great size living room. You could easily put like a really great living room set up with the couch, with the TV, and you even put like a desk, little reading area in that nook by the windows. Kitchen, again, it's really nicely sized. Um, not the most modern, not the most updated, but this building does have a ton of historic charm and it, it's not falling apart. It's clean, it's great. The bedrooms are small, but they do have those closets. Again, you could probably fit a queen size bed, no nightstands, um, but really great. Under $1,500 a month, two bedroom. Here's the exterior of the building. Looks like it's close to a lot of great stuff here. Walkable area. It's a great little place, two bedrooms. What do you know? All right, so the next property is at 8 West Monroe Street in Chicago. It is actually for sale right now at $190,400. Was for rent at $1,500. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom. Look at this, right in the middle of Chicago, right in the loop, right there, right across from Millennium Park. Great location, great location, very walkable. Um, great for public transportation. You don't need a car. You don't need a car if you live here. Let's take a look inside. The building, super cute, super modern. Looks like it has a really upscale kind of feel. 
Look at the interior. Now, I hate the orange, hate the orange floors, hate the orange cabinets, but it's not that bad. It's making a comeback, you know? You got the granite countertops, the black appliances, and it's got this great sort of loft feel apartment, you know? Big kitchen, big little living room here. Big little, big little living room. What the hell is that? It's a nice sized living room. Jesus Christ. Here's the bedroom. Um, it's nice. Got two closets. Bathroom, simple. Laundry room, big plus. Look at the views. Super cute views. I mean, if you're living in Chicago, wouldn't you want to have great views like that? Let's take a look again. Great building, great building. Love that kitchen. It's really a nice sized kitchen. Now, the bedroom is sort of open at the top here. It's because it has that lofty, trendy downtown feel, you know? Um, it's great space, really cute. One bedroom, one bathroom, right in the heart of the city. Awesome. All right, this is probably my favorite place. I'd say this one in the last one. It's at 200 East Ohio Street. Um, right next to the Miracle Mile in Streeterville, near the Navy Pier. I mean, really great area. Little touristy, but it's a great walkable area, easily accessible by tra public transportation. And look at those floor to ceiling windows. Look at those views of the skyscrapers with the light shining through. I love the floor to ceiling windows. You got the granite countertops, really trendy. Look at that, look at that. You know, you have the sort of laminate flooring, floor to ceiling windows, great space here. Look at the bedroom. Look at that view. Oh my God, so great. Granite countertops, stainless steel appliances. You got the cool track lighting. It is a really great space. Very trendy, very downtown living, fun, really nice appliances actually. All right, great kitchen. Lots of um, cabinet space, counter space, all of it. It's great. Those floor to ceiling windows, though. I mean, if that doesn't that look, you can even see that building. Don't remember what that building's called, but you see it. It's great. Beautiful. Great bedroom, great bathroom. Updated, you got this travertine type flooring here, um, granite countertops. Oh, cute walk in shower with glass door. Very nice. Oh, and look at the amenities. So this building is great. It comes with a lot of great amenities. You have this rooftop sort of lounging space here with beautiful views. Look at that, a pool, hot tub inside. You got the fitness area if, if you like to be fit. There you go, it's great. Look at those views. I mean, that is that if I lived in Chicago, this is how I would want to live. You even got this sort of exterior hot tub here overlooking the skyline. Beautiful, beautiful. This is city living at its finest, $1,500 a month. Can you believe that? Now, this last property and that property are probably neck and neck for me. So this last property is also $1,500 a month. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom, 775 square feet. Now. It's less of a traditional one bedroom than the previous one because it's more of like an industrial loft. Let's check out the location here. It's at 1323 South Michigan Avenue. So it is in the South Loop area. Um, still close to Grant Park, the museum campus area. Not a bad area, but maybe not as walkable or desirable as some of the other areas but it's the biggest or one of the biggest apartments on the list at 775 square feet. Let's take a look inside. Look at that. It's been completely, you know, updated, nicely renovated, stainless steel appliances. Look at that kitchen. It's huge. Look at that island. And I love this sort of exposed beam, exposed duct working. It has a really trendy loft feel. As you can see from the other angle, you have the exposed brick wall, the black framing on the window, super modern downtown loft sort of feel. I, I really love it. Super cute. Very trendy, very of the moment. Now, the bedroom itself doesn't have a window and it is open at the top. So again, it has that lofted, trendy sort of city feel. 
maybe not the most conducive for privacy, but there you go. You know, and that, that's how it is. You got a bedroom, bathroom, again, same as the kitchen, nicely updated, subway tile in the shower, tub combo, granite countertops, and an in-unit washer dryer. What more? What more do you want? In-unit washer dryer. Here's the layout here. It's actually pretty nice here. Living room is nicely sized at 13 feet by 13 feet. Right into the kitchen. Oh, love the kitchen. It's very big. Great, great um, island. And you have a ton of light coming in from those front windows there. You have a ton of windows in this space, but those front ones with the exposed brick around them. It's sort of like a statement piece, right? When you walk in. Bedroom, it's basic sized could probably fit a king size, probably better off with a queen. Nice walk-in closet, washer, dryer, and the bathroom. It's a great space. Here's a look at the building on the exterior. Again, it's a decent area, um, but the inside is my favorite. Like that sort of exposed, lofted sort of downtown feel. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Let me know what you guys think. Which one was your favorite out of all of these properties? Check them all out on my blog at nosyneighborrealestate.com. I'll link it down below. And if you're a real estate lover, follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Nosy Neighbor Real Estate. Like this video and comment down below which of these was your favorite. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.